that trailer. Look at that, ladies and gents. Held up strong, too. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's a special one because we're going to be breaking out the chatterbaits. A lot of anglers' favorite bait, but we've got something exciting in store for you. Lunkers TV just exposed these on one of his stories. I saw it for the first time. I'm thinking, maybe we can break these things out now because I was given a few prototypes early on from the designers at Guggen Squad. Check this out. It is the latest and greatest prototype chatterbait trailers. Real quickly, y'all, since the filming of this video, there's already some changes made to this bait. A couple areas beefed up. Also, the colors, they're kind of shifted. You'll see it's kind of like on each side instead of top and bottom. So the colors are going to be laid out differently. It's perfect. We catch big fish. Now, right back to this video, but there's a few changes made to the bait since we've tested in this video. So this is going to be very similar to the final product. Look at the kick you're going to get from these things. I think it's going to catch a lot of fish. So today we've got some valuable tips and tricks when it comes to throwing bladed jigs, chatter baits, things of that nature. We've got a jackhammer rigged up with what you might see as a typical trailer. I fished this recently and it just didn't have the kick I thought it was going to have. This is a Bass Pro Shop special, very affordable, something to look into. It did catch some fish, but I'd like a little bit more kick. And so I'm curious how these are going to fish today. This is one of the cheapest chatter baits on the market. I think, well, before inflation, they were a few bucks who knows what they go for nowadays but then we've got the clickbait normally I would throw something like a saucy swimmer but you know what happens every once in a while that tail gets caught by the hook I'm curious if it's gonna happen a lot with these new trailers or if it's not gonna happen at all and you're just gonna be catching fish so we've got a lot of different colors out here to showcase today as far as the bladed jigs are concerned and we've got a few different colors in these new trailers I don't even know what these are called yet you can see we've got like a green pumpkin this one here's got some shad in there, so we might throw that on the lighter color. We've got this lighter green, and then we've almost got like a green pumpkin purple, which this color right here has been our number one big bass catcher over the last year, maybe two years. And uh, with that being said, we're ready to take these out fishing. Before we hit the water, I wanted to mention one more thing. The new summer merch from Guggen just hit. You see me sporting the new hat right here, but we've also got the shirts. This new polo design with the clutch and the American flag is just off the chain. This is a fire drop you see we've got the new peach with bass pattern and the hood these long sleeve hooded shirts have been like my favorite in the summertime heat they're so breathable and i'd much rather feel cool in one of these than getting the sunburn all day long on the back of my neck and on the arms so if y'all want to cop some new merch go ahead and use the discount code in the description google squad has hooked our viewers up and it's the best way y'all can actually help support our growing channel over here as we try to just do nothing but more fishing tips and tricks for y'all hit that subscribe button and we're gonna go ahead and rig some things up and get out to the water all right, y'all, so when I rig these things up right here, what I'm doing is I'm looking at exactly where I want that hook to come out of the bait. Now I'm gonna start sliding that bait up. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna make sure it's just straight shot, and so you're not pushing too much on there, otherwise you might feel the need to re-rig it. Well, when you pull it off of the hook, you're gonna ruin the plastic. Just grabbed another one to display for you guys, right? So I've got this saucy swimmer on there, and when I pull that off, look, it's tearing up the nose, right? I just tore the whole thing off of there. But look, it's got these bait keepers, right? It's got this one heavy duty one up front, and it's actually got that double keeper you can see right here. That's gonna keep your bait secure on there as you're going to catch all those fish instead of sliding off the hook like some entry level chatter baits and bladed jigs. So that is how we got this guy rigged up right here. That is the first one. I'm curious to see how it's gonna kick. All right, y'all, we're here on the water ready to fish, but I wanted to give you a 30 second breakdown of the gear right quick before we do so. Now, when it comes to the reel, I'm less concerned the rod and line I would consider though. So for me, floral carbon line versus braid or monofilament, which are gonna float, uh, this is gonna help that bait get down where you want it. And I would say 10 to 20 pound that might mean 12 15 17 pound 20 pound depends on the cover you're fishing maybe the water clarity if it's stained water i'm just going to go with stronger line the fish aren't going to see it and i know i can get through any cover necessary if it's clear water or i know there's not much structure i might go down to as low as 10. the one thing you want to factor in is casting distance you're going to get more distance with the lighter line you're going to have more strength with that heavier line now with the rod i like a seven foot to seven foot three medium heavy fast action rod i like that faster tip because you're going to be setting the hook on these single hook baits right here and you want to make sure you've got some power some oomph behind it okay so you could go with that slower tip you could even use a flint look they're not going to tell you this folks but the people who want to sell you rods they're going to tell you buy what i use you could go to walmart and get you a 20 dollars rod you're going to catch fish on these baits but what i'm talking about is my favorite setup for these baits so i like the guggen squad go to rod if you're not using guggen products seven to seven foot three medium heavy fast action rod is going to get the job done nicely and again on the reel you know gear ratio and all that stuff you can reel it faster you can reel it slower just get it to where that action looks good with the bait and you're fine there so less concerned with that uh, you know we usually rock shimano's for just the overall reliability but other than that y'all let's get on the water and start fishing oh there's a fish on it there's a little bass there bluegill 
That's funny, y'all. All right, first cast. Oh, there is a bass. There's two bass under it following. How crazy is that? So I like to fish the edges. The, 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 you know, the click baits, the chatter baits, these bladed jigs, they're really shallow water baits. Uh, you want to fish them oftentimes just casting straight towards the bank. Or if you are on the bank, I just cast it like a 45 out. And uh, don't bother going too deep. Unless you know it's kind of flat and there's not too much depth, this is really going to shine in the shallow water along grass edges or even over the top of grass. If you're fishing some areas where it's like grass close to the surface, you can just breeze the top of it. If you were getting into that grass, it'd be better to throw a swim jig without a blade on it that's going to work through it better. I've got a wacky color scheme because I didn't have one that was all shad. It's going to definitely draw them in regardless with that kick on the back end and they're gonna see that chartreuse popping and that blade's gonna cause a lot of disturbance that's why so many people love to throw bladed jigs and I think we're gonna catch a fish very quickly Devin's got an ideal color combo she's just throwing all natural she's probably gonna get hits right off the bat her bait landed right where the grass edge meets the opening and that's where a lot of those bait fish are gonna be hanging around and the bass are gonna then be there keying in on the bait fish to eat so that's what we're trying to resemble right here is bluegill and shad there we go first fish on fish, no way First fish on. We haven't even seen it. Do I need to get the net? What do you have? Is it like two pounds or are we talking something here? It's not bad. Oh wow. Get the net first fish. Wow, uh, okay. The chatterbait trailer is on. That might be four pounds or I something. just didn't know if you're netting it or not. I, I, <laughs> I was like, we ain't here to flip it. I was, Whoa. I was here for that you. Five, Devin. I was here for you. I was like, are you gonna net it? Wow. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Um, That's a big one. All right. How about you stop? Chill. Thank you. Goodness gracious. All Holy right. Smokes. If we had a live well, we'd put it in it. Felt Oof. good coming off of those dinks. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's decently plump for a summertime fish. It's Look at that, ladies and gents. Held up strong, too. 3.92. So just shy of a four pounder. There's no complaining on that one. I mean, look at this. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Fins up, girl. Fins up. Lunkers, thank you for posting that. Otherwise, we were not going to break these things out. <laughs> Let's go get some more. Woo! I'm going to get a good one on this. It's that bright popping shad. How's your drag, by the way, after that first catch? Oh, oh, had one hit it. Did you catch my fish? I didn't catch your fish. I caught a fish. Oh, uh, you can take that one. <laughs> Little guy. The fish ate the tail. That's what it was. He went for the bait and he only got the tail. We only have a limited number of these. We have four of these on the boat. Thank you for not eating my tail, little guy. Comparison of how freaking big. Look at your little chunk. Bye. All right, I know what I want to do for this next one. I want to throw this chartreuse color with like this bright green. I call this lemon pepper. Check that out, y'all. That is a cool color combo. That's actually, it fits pretty good. I didn't want to mix that nice lemon pepper with the uh, shad. I think this pairs quite nicely though. So we're going to rock this guy for a moment and see what damage he can do. There he is, my first one to actually hook up. All right. Got to get past that braid to fluorocarbon leader. <laughs> he was having trouble going through the guides there. Double uni knot. Since I have braid on this reel, I just kind of grabbed whatever second combo I could. Devin's rocking the ideal setup here. That's the first one on the little chartreuse peppa combo, I call it. See you, bud. She's a kicking. The top end got a little twisted on this one. This is one of those cheaper ones right here, and it just has a single keeper, and it really doesn't do a good job of holding the bait up there. But um, anyways, I just twisted it right back, and it's good to go. Ooh, around these pads. It could get good. A little tight. Wow. In the lilies. I'm working out this bird's nest. Ain't got no time for net. <laughs> what is that? That's another good one. What are you doing? Golly. I can get it. <sighs> Chatterbait trailer. All right, you can flip it. That's a nice one. That one might might be bigger than the first one. Well, she's got that one, I guess. So I'm going over here. There it is. That is very close to the same size as that last one. It is a little beaver. It's a little dude. How cool is that? Keep pushing it without the tail. Just oh, this just took it. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> Let's see that one hook keeper on this cheaper one is it's not holding the bait up on there as well, but uh, I think it'll be fine. So sometimes spending a little bit more money on the bladed jig will actually save you money on the plastic side of things. I 
think it is officially the end. It's, oh, I mean, she lived a good life. You know, at least it's last, oh, there's the other side of it. What'd you do, six, seven fish on it? You did better than my track record on that last one. I caught like one or two. That's this true. one's been holding up though. I have still more fish to catch with it. It's last look, let her go. Bye, Felicia, and we are down Tally to our last. We were lucky to get our hands on just a few of these, and we knew we had to wait for the perfect conditions to come out here. If every outing could be like this, it would be phenomenal. We've gone through three of these plastics, and we've caught a handful of three to four pounders. You really cannot ask for more. We got a solid bag going at this point, but we're gonna fish this last one. I've still got my chartreuse pepper. We're gonna go till sunset, and uh, we're gonna work this place. We're gonna put this thing through the ring. Let's try and catch one even more. We are looking for the big Bertha. Go. Wrong. What? that note I think we're gonna close out today's video we had to showcase these things I wanted to test them out and they do perform grab y'all some as soon as they go live it's gonna be on guggensquad.com again the biggest way y'all can help support the channel is by purchasing anything over there using that information in the description that actually saves y'all some coin on the product so we'll catch you guys on the next episode we had a lot of fun throwing these and it did not take long to catch some big fish we have a lot more coming your way y'all we got a bunch of bass boat stuff kayak tournaments you name it so be on the lookout we'll see you on the future video how big are you gorging We had to change up the trailer because we ran out of the prototypes. Toss on a saucy swimmer, tried and true, but we just couldn't leave this girl out. Here you have it, 4.80. All right, guys, one last look at her. That was an awesome fight. Feels good, pays off. <sighs> off into the depths. <laughs>